Welcome back to 504 Road Trips. Today we continue south on U.S. Highway 61 in Tunica County, Mississippi, beginning as we enter the unincorporated community of North Tunica. North Tunica is a census-designated place that covers an area of only seven-tenths of a square mile and has a population of 760 as of the 2020 census. We enter the town of Tunica, which had a population of 1,026 as of the 2020 census. The community derives its name from the Tunica Indians, which once were numerous in the area. Tunica is the county seat of Tunica County, and was one of the most impoverished places in the United States until casino gambling was introduced into the area. Despite this economic improvement, Tunica's population continues to decline from its peak in 1970. Tunica gained national attention in the mid-1980s for its deprived neighborhood known as Sugar Ditch Alley, named for the open sewer located there. The deplorable conditions got the attention of Reverend Jesse Jackson, who visited in 1986 and likened the conditions to famine-stricken Ethiopia. The ditch was filled with concrete and landlords were ordered to provide indoor plumbing and connect sewer lines. Funds were provided to move the residents of Sugar Ditch into new homes, and the more than 100 shacks were demolished and replaced with a senior housing development. With the advent of casino gambling in the mid-1990s, the economy received a boost and provided jobs to locals. The population of the town continued to decline, but increased in unincorporated areas of Tunica County. After Hurricane Katrina decimated the casinos on the Gulf Coast, many of the regulars began visiting the casino resorts in the Tunica area, which was unaffected by the hurricane. The casinos are all outside of the town limits of Tunica, but because they are in an unincorporated part of the county known as Tunica Resorts, the town still benefits from tax revenue from the casinos. However, residents of Tunica Resorts have been making an effort to incorporate, which would result in all tax revenue going to the new town, and would be bad news for the town of Tunica. Fifteen years later, though, these efforts have been fruitless. We now have an overlap with Mississippi Highway 4, as well as the eastern portion of the Great River Road.
We enter Cahoma County, established in 1836. The name is a Choctaw word meaning Red Panther. In the early days, the Mississippi River was the primary method of transportation through the county, and the first three county seats were located on the river. The first, Port Royal, only lasted five years before it was flooded by high waters on the river. The same problem occurred with the town of Delta in 1850. The county seat was then moved to Friars Point until Clarksdale began to grow in population and influence. Clarksdale challenged Friars Point's hold on county government, and in 1892 the county was divided into two jurisdictions with each town becoming the county seat of its respective jurisdiction. In 1930, the county seat was given exclusively to Clarksdale. As of the 2020 census, Cahoma County had a population of 21,390. Here we begin a concurrency with U.S. Highway 49 southbound. If you've watched our U.S. 49 series from several years ago, we covered the next 18 miles going northbound. We conclude today's video at approximately mile 270 as we enter the unincorporated community of Rudyard. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up, post a comment, subscribe, share and follow us on social media, and join us for our next 504 road trip.